What's up everybody, Vest Barricade here, and I'd like to talk about two quick things today, and the first thing being Killer Instinct Season 2, and uh, the whole 60 FPS YouTube thing, and how could it benefit Vest Barricade. Okay, let's start with Killer Instinct. Now we all know that Killer Instinct Season 2 has been announced, and it's coming our way, and we got some information on E3 first with TJ Combo, and then now, after Evolution, we got uh, Maya was revealed. Maya is more of like a projectile-like character. TJ Combo will be doing some air combos, which is pretty cool. And uh, they seem to be improving the models for TJ Combo a little bit because some people say that the model looked pretty unfinished. But uh, overall, where I stand with Killer Instinct is that um, the games have a lot, a lot of uh, problems, like up and down with like the company leaving for Amazon and you know who gets uh, creative control. But now it looks like it's settled down a bit, and now it's it's, it's stepping in the right direction, and uh, they're going to be fine-tuning it a lot. It's going to get more characters, it's going to get more stages, and uh, we finally have like an arcade mode and all that. Um, my biggest beef with Killer Instinct, or I should say what I want improved most with Killer Instinct, I think they should fine-tune a lot of the characters that we have now first. It seems that they had a lot of time to work on Jago and Saberwolf, and, uh, but the other characters seem a little rushed, which is understandable, since they need to get the game out by a certain time. But like what what I was saying is that like, for example, the normal attacks for a lot of the characters are uh, a little iffy. Um, they're not. They need to fine tune them a little bit. We need more, um, just better like frames to work with. I guess change some of the frame data just to leave some room for more frame traps and uh, just more tactics because the game right now is kind of uh, I would say spammy, more special move orientated because. Um, it just seems like special moves like Jiggle's wing kick and stuff like that are they just uh, overpower so many things and you could just blindly do it. I know you can just like you know you can bait it and punish and all that, but you got to remember in Killer Instinct when you bait and punish something, the opponent can still break you. Um, you're not like you're not rewarded for punishing someone right away. They they can still like I said it goes both ways with the breaker system. So I think that they should definitely buff normals and just. Uh, overall for most of the characters like i said jago and saber wolf are in a kind of good spot because those characters seem more finished but definitely other characters and uh like the air normals and you know just overall the normals like i'm saying uh and like i said the game is is definitely evolving it's getting more up there with fighting games but um i still think that as long as it's an xbox uh one exclusive it's just going to hurt the game in terms of uh, the size of the community because I like I understand obviously not having it on a PS4. It's never going to happen because it's a Microsoft game, but uh, there is definitely possibility for it to be released on PC, and I definitely think that should happen to help the game move forward. Uh, another thing about the game that I think they should work on is the way the, the super meter works. The super meter is... Is uh, it just builds up way too fast, and I'm okay with that kind of, except for the fact that the whole projectile game, when when you're uh, chucking fireballs and the opponent is blocking them, the opponent gains so much meter, it is insane. Um, when I'm like, let's say we have characters that are like projectile orientated, like Fulgor, for example. And now we're going to have a character like Maya who is projectile oriented. And like when I'm chucking fireballs and I'm zoning my opponent, the opponent should be like, man, I got to get around these projectiles and like I'm taking chip damage here. I got to stop blocking. But when you're playing Killer Instinct instead, he, what he's thinking in his head is all oh, sweet. I get full meter now. I, I can't wait till he keeps throwing projectiles. You know, it's kind of it's kind of strange. It's kind of counterintuitive, you know. Um, I understand that it's a rushdown heavy game. I understand it's an aggressive game, but there is more than enough moves in the game that can get around projectiles. Every character has easy way of getting around uh, projectiles, especially with the the, the meter building so fast and using their shadows and all that. So if we have already all these things to get around projectiles and it's not it's such an aggressive game, you have so many gap closers. What's the point of rewarding the opponent further when you're zoning them by blocking? You know. It's just, I, I just think it's counterintuitive, and I definitely think that uh, they should take a look at it and uh, change it a little. Of course, there's Glacius, and he's a projectile-oriented character, but at least he can combo off of it. 
he can uh, combo you from full screen away. So at least he can build something off it. But characters like Fulgor, I just, I don't know, it doesn't really make sense to me. When his entire character is based off zoning you out and building meter. But at the same time, you're giving the opponent so much meter. It's just, I don't know. But I digress. So yeah, the last thing I want to talk about quick was the whole YouTube 60 FPS thing. I know a lot of people know that uh, the 60 FPS will be coming soon to YouTube. And the way, I guess, the thing is, is like, that's that's sweet. Like, it's good that YouTube is moving in the right direction. But I still think the video quality on YouTube is shit. It's It's been getting shittier and shittier. And uh, it just really bugs me because old school YouTube, the quality was amazing. And it just really sucks when I'm making these videos and I see the raws before I upload them and they look really, really good. And then when I upload on YouTube, and it's just like a disaster, even in 1080p. And it's really frustrating when I have the bit rate so high. Like when I'm, you know, encoding these videos, they're at 60, uh, 60 megabits, the bit rate. And then now when you, after you upload to YouTube, it brings it all the way down to five, five for a 1080p video. And like, I understand that, you know, there's bandwidth issues and stuff, but like at least give the partner channels uh, the option of uploading higher quality videos. I would even pay a monthly fee for it. You know, anything, just give us something because the quality is so bad. And yeah, it's nice to have 60 FPS, but the quality is shit right now. Um, Like I said, I'm thinking, I'm honestly thinking in the future, once we get the whole 60 FPS thing, I'm actually considering like uploading some videos in 4K because... Even though the obviously the original quality is in 4K, when you upload a video in 4K, it, it gives you another threshold in bitrate because it goes up to 25 megabits. And I might use that just as a gateway just to get the quality higher for some of you guys. Because like I said, it's really annoying. Um, what I was going to talk about, the whole 60 FPS thing, it really only benefits video games on YouTube. Obviously, it doesn't benefit movies or movie trailers because, you know, they run at 24 FPS. Um, I guess it would benefit sports. But most most S sixty FPS is just gonna benefit video games, and um, as for Vesper Arcade, how it benefits Vesper Arcade, I guess when I'm recording my camcorder with my hands with a hand cam, that is running at supposed to be running at sixty FPS. So I guess you'd be able to see my hand motions better. But overall, you know, there's not gonna be too much. Um, fighting game wise, uh, there's G- Guilty Gear is coming out. I'm actually really excited for Guilty Gear, and that's gonna run at sixty FPS. So that would be a, definitely a great game. Um, Marvel will obviously look better, but there isn't much more Marvel content for me to release. I don't think I'm going to re-release all the trials again, unless you guys really want to see that 60 FPS. Maybe I can just do like the last two of each trial or do some montage or something just so you guys can see the difference. But, uh, yeah, that's my whole stance with like YouTube right now. I really think they should improve the video quality, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this whole 4k business and, uh, If you guys have any questions, this would be the video to ask. So yeah, peace out, guys.